kick back and catch a vibe. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Kick back, it's a lifestyle. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, my beautiful people. Welcome to At Home with Lisa, Lisa. So today, you all, I am about to do some refurbishing. I have this TV stand that I want to change the color. So I'm getting ready to sand it down and everything and do what needs to be done to turn it into a masterpiece. Okay, hold on, let me let y'all see what I'm working with. This is the beauty. This is what I'm working with, you guys. I'm going to sand it down real good and create a beauty. I'm gonna take these here knobs off I know um, I'm probably going to replace them not sure yet just depends on how it looks when I finish painting it okay all right y'all stay tuned <laughs> Y'all, I'm unscrewing the knobs here. At least I'm trying to take the knobs off. I think I've sanded the top down as much as I'm going to. I can see the other paint color coming through. I just want it to be smooth on top. So I'm going to sand the re remainder of it. Okay, got one more off. We'll give that to T. And then I'm going to take this one off. Ooh, this one's on tight. Oh, I was turning the wrong way, y'all. There we go. I got the second one off, y'all. So um, I'm getting ready to sand. Um, did you have it upside down? Okay. I'm getting ready to sand this. 
I'm getting ready to sand all of this down, y'all. But it's a great piece. It's very um, antique-ish and all, and it has uh, plenty of compartments. And I plan to use this in the game room, you all. So let's see what it turns out to be, you guys. <laughs> Or use the sander that we need to have protective eyewear on and probably need to have gloves on as well too but this was mine it wasn't that big so once we clean all this dust and debris away 
then we're going to start painting it. And I think the paint that we have has a primer in it. So we don't have to use like a solid primer, but worst case scenario is we'll just have to do a double coat. Woo. All right, y'all, we'll be back. You guys, we done started painting. And I didn't even have the camera going, y'all, but we ain't finished. We still got a lot more to go. But this is what it's looking like so far. So we getting it in. We're using the brush for the first coat. We're gonna put a second coat on there. We're gonna use the roller for the second coat. So hopefully it turns out pretty nice. But we getting there, y'all. We getting there. So I want to check back in with you all and let you know what was going on and let y'all see the progress. I can't wait to see the end product. And thank you all so, so much for tuning in and being here. I appreciate you all oh so much. All right. All right, you guys. This is the first coat we have here. We're going to let it completely dry. We're going to come back in maybe like an hour and complete it. I am liking how it turned out. And this is like a um, Tahoe linen color, a Tahoe linen. So that's what color it is. And that's Sherwin-Williams, y'all, I think. All right, y'all. All right, you guys, a couple of days have passed by and I am finally finished with the TV stand that we changed from blue to a Tahoe linen color. And this is what it looks like. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. It is beautiful, beautiful y'all, beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. Nice. I can't wait to style it, but I decided to use it in the game room. So I'm going to be, you know, putting the games and those type things on it. So right now I'm just waiting for Mr. Smith to come because he's going to put the back, the backing on it. As you can see right there, has to put the backing on it. So that's what we're waiting on. And then once I get it in the space, then I'll take a, I'll let you guys see what it looks like in the space. But I think it's gonna be a separate video with me styling it, okay? All right, y'all, I'll be back. Y'all ain't good with the drill now. I'm learning with this drill, y'all. Down there. Right here, oh, uh, right here. Yeah, and right there. Okay, let me go right here first. I can't. Get you the drill in there. Even, there you go, just like that. Give it pressure before you, uh, you gotta give it pressure before you turn it on, okay? Put it inside. Okay. Even it up. Okay. Now go. Move your finger. Go. Got yeah. it. There you go. This one. Remember. You gotta give it pressure. Just like that. Oh my 
bahe Right, you guys as I said before we're going we're place we place this in the game room so this is where it's going to be in the game room and we're gonna house the games here and then up here as you can see we have the outlets up here so eventually we plan to put two TVs up there but I think we're about to we're gonna get one for now but I'll come back and show you guys that once we um, purchased the TV because we did have it but it got damaged in the move so we um, have to purchase another one but this is what it's looking like it's looking really really nice and I did decide to keep the same knobs on here I decided to keep the same knobs as was before so yeah this is gonna be the game console where we keep all the board games and things like that and that little white box that um has something to do with the um wi-fi or something but yeah y'all this is what it is looking like and um like i said it'll be a separate video um when i style it um i'm going to style it in with when i style the game room so that'll be a one whole video of styling the game room okay all right you all thank you all so so much for being so patient and tuning in with our um diy tv console here um if this is your first time and you like content like this please consider subscribing to the channel also too if you all like this video please give it a big thumbs up and leave us comments down below because we love hearing from you all right you all until the next video at home with lisa lisa is signing off Bye bye, love bugs. Kick back and catch a vibe. We at home with Lisa Lee.